this is Alex, the architect for Backfrap, and in today's episode of our Parse Crash course, we'll keep digging into the live queries of Parse. So, from last episode, we had the subscription to listen for update events. We'll create a new other uh, subscriptions for other events. So, I'm just going to copy this code, and we will create one subscription for creating, one subscription for deleting, and after a deletion we don't have an object ID anymore. One subscription for enter. I'll show you what that does after, and one for leave. And also, I'm going to change my query to match a few parameters. But as for now, if I go back to my Terminal and type node index.js, it will start listening. So if I go back to my Safari and if I create a new object, John, you see the object was created. And if I delete John, oops. You see, John was deleted. But now, let me control CD. Sometimes, when you are querying for an object, at first the object will not match your query, but then the new value will. So that's why we have the enter and leave uh, subscriptions. The enter, when the object's value at first it didn't match the query, but the new value does, you get an enter event. And the inverse happens for leave. So I'm going to query dot equal to <coughs> and search for age, which is 38. So if I go back to my console and type in index.js and now go back to my Safari. And for instance, for that query, since I'm looking for an age of 38, Rafael would not get uh, notified for our subscription. But if I change his age to 38, you see that object entered the subscription. And if I go back to 27, now it left the subscription as well. So this is a good way for you to tra track uh, which kinds of objects are entering and leaving your query depending on the situation. So this was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you like it and hope to see you back on new videos. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.